And it's game time. Kinex 5 here with Neo. We decided to just stick around in the air because we love you guys so much. We're going to cast us a little scrim here. You see there, it's Team Sassy versus Team Big. It's going to be Bob's team on the left side. Zeos on your right in blue. And uh, we've got Swagger on blue is going to be Fail Sauce subbing in for more or less orange. But we're still going to see a nice little scrim here between these two teams. It'll be interesting to see which maps these guys decide to play. Um, and, you know, maybe seeing if they're trying to shore up their weaknesses or maybe just test the waters and see what maps they want to choose for their matches. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think it's actually Hel Helios, right? Is Felt oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, Swagger is GS3K. Yeah, okay. sure. Didn't... Oh, there we go. See, a blue amp looks like on offense. Didn't catch you, grabbed it. I think they may have gone down already because I passed them. Oh, no, there it is. It's uh, GS3K on cover with it. Kills out the cover, gonna pick up that flag in a very bad spot right now. Probably a good idea, tries to get a cut off there, it doesn't work for him though. And now we see Bob getting all the way back to his base with this flag. If they were to hit this return, they don't time the return though. It looks like Blue's not in position to get a grab this though, so it doesn't cost them a dangerous little move there. On a map like this where it's so easy to, to, to get a grab in the last second and pull that flag off the stick, you typically want to see a timed return, uh, you know, much like Infractious or Grendel. Um, they actually returned that one a little bit early, it didn't cost them, and then they go back and get the 100 armor, so Red already in good position here. Lava K3 is going to be pushing with that 100 armor right now. Well, meanwhile, it looks like Blue has Red Flag all the way back in their base, and it gets returned on this stick and gets denied. I don't know how that happened. It must have been a quick little rebound cap, as I was still watching Blue Team, or excuse me, Red Team, and then Blue just... Uh, Pissing all the way back across the map. So a nice little heads-up move by by Blue. Almost got him a, a an answer cap right there. Danny's going to push out with this, uh, with this amp here as well. So amp goes down. Bob goes down. Looks like we've got Fail Sauce with his flag. 125 health, no armor. He's all by himself. Doesn't really scare him usually. He'll keep that flag moving no matter what the, what the cost. Um, doesn't get very far there, but again, one thing that having a really aggressive flag runner like that does is it keeps your D honest. They can't really push out to mid, especially on a map like this, um, because they have to constantly be worried that even if there's only one person sneaking in behind them, they have to guard that flag and they really have to honor it. Yeah, Danny now with two double damage and 100, one in 100, and died pretty much immediately. Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising seeing these early power ups getting contested. Um, probably see both teams do a you know, a pretty good job of contesting them early on. It's really once you get to the, once you get about a third into the map, and especially past the halfway point, that's when you start to get tested because you're not always going to be able to be in position to hear it taken or to take it yourself. And so sometimes teams will start to lose track right around, and it can really end up costing them later on in the match. Fail sauce, meanwhile, pissing him back into his door. We know he likes to do that because uh, last time he did, he got his head stomped, and we took a look at that earlier. Makes that jump that time. Shockball takes him out. His team's going to get a pickup. They're waiting for this return, though. They're sitting on their stick. The flag carrier is out shock side. They have a lot of cover, though. They don't have enough returns. Well, there he goes. They have precisely enough return because they're able to get that flag back and tie it up. So not even five minutes in this game. We've seen caps coming through both sides. Bleak is one of those maps where the flag is going to be moving an awful lot, but it's not necessarily always a high-scoring game. Love a K3 with that amp run. One health in his own base. Yeah, I'm watching him at first person. I don't know how we survived. He picked up those health packs. He was back in his base. Amp is down, though. They missed the pickup. Bob translocates right Whoa. over the flag. And uh, that one goes back, so... <laughs> and uh, Vengeance has a lot to say about that one, but still a tie game, although GS3K uh, pushing across the map, goes down to some rockets by Dre. Here we see Element running the flag. I'm not sure... They're probably going to want to keep him off of the flag, um, given that he's got someone talking for him to team, team speak. Because as we've seen from pickup games, while it's still very helpful to have someone talking for a person without a mic, they, the problem is they can't tell their intentions and they can't broadcast their intentions ahead of time and where they're going with that flag. Failsauce got that last hundred shield, and I think that uh, Zao's team is the only team with uh, any timing on a hundred at the moment. Yeah, but right at that five-minute point, and that's where you can't start taking things for granted. The first couple minutes, you can even if you don't hear it or see it, you can generally presume that the 100 armor is taken on time and be all right. As we see, uh, GS3K with a killing spree with this amp. We've seen a lot of amp flag runs going on here. 
Yep, Danny with that cover ramp, he has the flag now. Oh, I see, yes. I get swag and swagger, I'm gonna call it wrong all game, I'm not even gonna... Yeah. <laughs> Element with the flag, now running back to his base. Lots of good pickups here in blue base. They've uh, handed it off like three or four times now. Yeah, I mean you see that drop right into the right in midair, picked up by Danny. It looks like yeah. So Danny's Danny's with the ERs. You see denial on the stick. Blue able to pick it up. Red gets a grab though. Bob running for his life. He's going to run under the stand. Just try to survive long enough for his team to get a to get a return. He gets a double kill. So he's kind of like barricaded himself under the under the flag and a pretty smart move there by Bob. And some nice spam coming out to make the most of it as his team was able to put four in return and get that flag secured. And uh, now they're actually moving it moving it across the map. And just like you'll see the players, uh, it'll happen sometimes, lose uh, power-up timing. I actually did on that, that flag run trying to help cover that, so... <laughs> it sounded like Amp was just taken. Yep, looks like we have uh, Danny still has timing. He's got that Amp in his hands. He's going to be covering with it. His team's getting back to base. Um... Of course, on a, on a map like this, you're going to see a lot of emergency pulls at the last second. Red team, though, seems to be all dead or out of position. There's no boy. You see a couple coming in to get the flag moving. Looks like it's not going to be enough as the damage coming out from that amp is just way too much. A valiant effort by Red, though. They, they extended that little uh, that little battle way longer than I expected. And it'll be interesting here because Bob ended up with a 100 shield just now going in on offense. And so he's now going to take the power-up timing from uh, Zyos' team here. Yeah, that's been a key. I mean, I, I, I'll flip through the stats real quick if I can, but I don't know if uh, if Bob's team has gotten any of the power-ups until that point. Looks like Bob has 100 armor. Oh, uh, see, Lavak has taken a couple hundreds in, in the double damage, so looks like Lavak is maybe, uh, maybe the one uh, helping control mid for them. I'm going to go ahead and watch Chowie for a little bit. Again, this is a map where the, the flags are constantly moving. Um... But you don't necessarily see high scores because defense can track down flag carriers really well on this map, um, especially if they have any kind of mid presence from their offense to slow them down. Chari looks like Everybody's he's experimenting with. On each other in the middle. This looks like Zios, I think, uh, came up and just grabbed that hunter shield just to keep the uh, enemy team from coming in with it. Actually, getting the camera spectator bug, trying to view these power ups, so. See what I can do about that, but anyway, we're gonna watch this flag moving. GSUK going down. Flag's still sitting there. Blue's gonna probably want to pick it up. There you go. Danny picks it up. No armor, 110 health. Has no cover on him, so he's just gonna try to piston past enemy D. Not a bad idea. It doesn't work out for him. His teammate almost was there for the pickup, but doesn't quite get there. And so Dre running the flag. Something you don't see too often. Bob double kills. Taking this one out mid. Gonna hope to meet up with some cover out there. Hoping Chowie misses a flak, uh, flak primary. He does not. So I'm back on Chowie. We're going to watch him play some defense here. This, this game has slowed down quite a bit. Um, does it look like both teams are still contesting these power-ups, though? Yeah, definitely. There was just a fight down there at 100. Uh, both teams definitely have power up timing on 100. I believe the person that grabbed it commied. But uh, if nothing else, kept it out of the hands of the other team. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're being contested. And that's, I mean, that's really as important as anything. Because um, even if the defense can know which player to focus fire on, you know, who's sneaking in there with the 100 armor. That alone, that, right right that can help a lot. Zyos team ended up getting it. I believe he just died, though. I think it was Danny. Yeah, it looks like it. If it was him, he definitely doesn't have it now. Bob grabbing with low health. Has some cover, though. Um, Lavak, though, not able to keep him off... Off of him and uh, goes out of mid. That's a double kill or a double KO there, but Chowie's able to sneak up there and grab it. Now, GS3K waiting for some cover. No armor on him. Taking his time. This is one of those maps where you can double back into the base and wait for your cover because it's so easy to cut flag carriers off in mid that a lot of times defenders will just immediately default to running out there. See, nice pickup there by Danny. Both flags are going to be back in their bases now. Danny with the 100 shield as well there, uh, pick up. So he may have solo timing on this uh, 100 shield now again. And he's and able he to piss him back use. to base right as they uh, right as they return that flag. So red team there, looks like they had a lot back on cover and weren't able to control that flag. 
And if you'll notice on the scoreboard, Red Team's actually winning the frags battle, although once again, of course, suicides aren't taken into account in the scoreboard. That's another thing that will be updated whenever we're looking at the new scoreboards that uh, DCDV and all them are working on, but... For the time being, though, you're looking at that, those nets. They're definitely more positive for the red team. And I think, like I've said about Bob's team before, they're, you know, they're they're, they're on paper they're pro probably the best fragging team in, in this uh, MLUT season. They're probably, like I say, the best TAM team in the season. But the question would be uh, whether they're able to pull that in to capture the flag victories. And Dre got that last uh, amp, but died immediately, as we've seen happen several times now. Uh, although fails us with a hundred shield, grabbing the flag. Already down to 39 health. Looks like they uh, they were all over that, but he's still walking into his base. He has enough health to piss in. No, he does not. As he uh, charges a little bit too far, blows himself up into oblivion, and uh, now we see GS3K with the flag, but only 55 health. He's going to try to make that piss him. He gets comboed. Vengeance grabbing this flag. Nobody's on him, so he's going to get out to mid. If his teammates can get up, they can actually extend this flag run. We'll see if they decide to cover or go for the return. They decide to cover. Probably a wise move. As Bob pushing through mid, they may have timing on the 100 armor. I don't know if it's up anytime soon, but they're one kill away from getting back into their base. And if Bob is smart, he's going to go get that health. A good move by Bob. He sees the defender cutting him off in his own base, so rather than jumping right into him, he goes off, gets health, has one health back. He may be able to cap this with one health. If his cover can keep him safe for one more second, he gets it. So, wow. again, that a smart move by Bob, circling back in the mid, getting that health. He needed every single bit of it. And uh, his team with a timely return able to jump across and get over to it. And now 100's been up for a good 30 seconds. Neither team has power up timing on this. Uh, I'm going to go look at him. Yeah, 100 is just sitting there. I get it. I actually have a great view of the top down view of 100 because I'm through the floor on amp. So I can't really get a view of amp, but I get a great view of 100. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> still sitting there. There we go. Blue team finally, finally takes Danny it. Finally, takes a peek and sees gold, so. <laughs> He's got 150 go or 150 uh, uh, armor, 120 health now. So if he can get a pickup here, this could be trouble for Red. And there you go. see the pass yep. right there. Smart, smart, smart move right there. Passing it in mid route. Something we talked about last show. Something you don't see enough of. Like that rocket right there timing, probably would have killed their other carrier. Could be. Uh, there's the return. You see only 30 health in the flag. Here. He's not gonna be able to piss it up. They don't get that pickup too. Oh wow. So, a nice move by Red, keeping themselves in the game. We've actually seen a lot of really close denials on both sides here. So, a really exciting game. This is one of those maps that, if teams decide to slow it down, can really get bogged down in a lot of, a lot of like, team deathmatch fights that go on in mid, and it can really get, uh, turn into a slow, defensive, low-scoring affair. But, even though it's only 2-3 to three at about the halfway point, or a, little, a couple minutes past the halfway point, it's actually a really exciting game. Amp finally coming up. Uh, we're going to have Dre grabbing the amp. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Well, we have Zeos pushing up on defense now as Dre takes him out. I'm going to watch him in a little bit of first-person mode now. He's got that link gun to lock down Bob. Bob down to four health. Going to go out in mid. Probably take a couple couple shots here and go down, but was anyone there for the pickup? Looks like they were. See, Zeos trying to rock it. You see, what he's doing there is he's shooting around the shield gun. Rockets are a great way to cut through a shield. Because that splash damage is going to go right around it. So red team now uh, hiding their flag carry a little bit. I'm not sure if he's under their stand. He was hiding in mid, waiting for 100. Grabs gotcha. 100. Gotcha. So a uh, smart move there by Danny. He knows the uh, timing of everything. He gets right out in there. We saw 9 do that. Misses the jump. Tries to tap himself back up there. Under his stand, though, they don't know where he is or they don't care because he's certainly safe right now. Red's still waiting for him in his own flag room. They go for the telefrag, miss it. He still has uh, 96 health. So he can piss and gets taken down right there. Zeo's with the pickup. He goes down. Blue gets another pickup. Red's got this flag moving finally. Going out to mid. The entire red team's out in mid, so they can probably cover this flag pretty far if they want to. As you see, Fail Sauce there kind of half hiding and half just waiting in position to pounce. Not a bad move there because you can, you're one jump away from, uh, from the flag. As you see him hiding behind the blue banner. I don't think Red Team was looking for him too hard, though. They seem to be focused on that cover and trying to get that flag across, but couldn't quite keep it in their own hands long enough. There was no pressure on the enemy flag carrier there. And Dre with that 100 shield, or not the 100 shield, but the amp. But uh, then it looks like Big B, I think it's Bob, who goes and grabs the 100 shield. So uh, Bob's team getting power-up timing again, and we'll have to see how that 
helps for the final five minutes. Yeah, this is one of those maps where you can often get the flag back into your base, but getting that final cap, as we see, can be difficult. And having that extra armor on your flag here to allow them to make those piston jumps back up to your stand makes a big difference. And, of course, having a amp cover we saw early on in the game can really help uh, seal the deal, too. Here, though, Bob grabbing with only 47 health. Nice kill on Zeo. So able to anticipate his jump. Still needs some cover desperately in mid. He's all by himself. Buy some time. There's his cover. No cover kills, but they're able to uh, distract the defense. He runs right into the enemy flag carrier, though. But Red able to get a... No, they're not able to get a pickup as... Failsauce gets a nice little uh, quick return, and Danny's going to be able to piss it up to his flag stand. And if that gets returned, that's going to be it. And that'll be a three-cap lead with four minutes left. Very, very difficult to come back on this map uh, that quickly. That may Definitely. be the end of this one. And it AMP looks is like up, Dre, however. Yeah, it looks like Dre no longer has timing on AMP, and so Zyro's team goes ahead and grabs that AMP. He's going to move on offense with it. Uh, although Bob did get that last 100, so they still will have 100 shield timing for the rest of the map, probably. Yeah, we're going to watch Danny here as uh, Lavac tries to shock tape, him, take, uh, shock tape him out of relevancy with that AMP. You see him waiting in mid. Trying to catch an easy shot on the EFC. Or excuse me, on the cover, rather. Uh, able to pick up that flag. Doesn't want to piston with Amp, though, because that'll do double the damage. He's going to have to run this back the old-fashioned way. Red, though, having trouble really uh, staying in blue base, which is kind of interesting, because given that they're winning this net battle, well, actually, it's kind of gone the other way now. You look at the scoreboard, uh, nets are more or less even. It looks like what's happening is blue is keeping their base contained, so that uh, whenever they get their flag carriers back in, they're just doing a, a, a much better job of, of sealing off the base. Because Red just ha isn't, hasn't been getting those last second emergency pulls that you typically see on this map. Bob's been going to be able to get that pickup with 100. I don't know how much of he has left, but... Well, it looks like GS3K is kind of uh, tiptoeing across the map with very low health. Hoping they'll get a pickup. Flags on the ground. Gets returned. That was a cherry pick. Vengeance, meanwhile, walking it across mid. Really just trying to build, trying to get something to, to build on here. A little bit of momentum. Knock down low. That's typically a death sentence on this map because everyone's going to anticipate you going there. Goes down. And uh, Danny now. Just kind of keeping that flag moving. And as we talked about before, two and a half minutes left. Very unlikely to come back from four caps. Oh, but and just gonna, or, uh, Ninja is uh, going to grab that 100 shield mid-run right as it comes up. Yeah, we've seen um, Blue also doing a, a better job than Red of relaying these flags. And given the team makeup that you're seeing, especially having Failsauce in there, um, not that Orange isn't good at it too, but that's definitely you know, one of Failsauce's strengths. That That's something you expect to see, and it can be very frustrating, especially against a team um, that can be um, you know, superior in one-on-one -on -one fragging ability because you can get kill after kill after kill, but if the other team is on the ball and able to get those pickups, it can get really frustrating really quickly. Yeah, definitely, and you could tell it was kind of des desperation time there for the last at least couple minutes here because that amp sat there for a good minute and a half so, until anybody noticed it. Yeah, both teams completely focused on the objectives. And, you know, that's something that I think as you see these teams get comfortable and start scrimming more, you may start seeing that happen less because you may have uh, people designated to it, um, basically having an area of responsibility to where, you know, if... If you get into a situation like that, you may say, hey, you, you're the one who needs to cross mid-high every once in a while just to double-check on it. You see a flag pass yeah. there, a failed flag pass. <laughs> so Big V goes fine, I'll keep it myself. I think he's going to kill himself here to pass this flag. Oh, no, he's getting ready to piss into the sand if it comes back. Doesn't, though. Going to pick up his 50 armor. Uh, he's still not looking too good on health, but his health packs should be spawning soon. He's going to pass that. Let's go ahead and watch Blue Flag Carrier. So he's still in pretty good shape, has some armor himself. Hiding in the same spot behind that banner... And uh, jump straight over to the flag stand. So red team now is having some trouble getting these timely returns and protecting their flag carrier. Kind of one or the other. Um, because uh, we've seen some standoffs lost. We've seen some denials coming in from both sides. But, you know, they kind of just haven't been able to, to get the kills that they need. Uh, be it on cover or seals or whatever. whatever because... Blue team now, of course, in garbage time, kind of running this flag across the map. Doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to pour through some of these stats. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, of course, now we're talking about the composition of Team Big. And uh, you know, one of the things we we talked about even on draft night is, will they be able to keep their composure after after playing a bad map? Yeah, and that may be something we're about to see. Um, <clears throat> we'll see if uh, I assume it'll go another map at least, but definitely if you see another eight to two victory by Zao's team, uh, I'll be interested to see exactly how this plays out.